Today, I'm going to show you how to make as much gold as possible in Palea with as little work as possible. This is a mostly AFK gold farm. This is when you want to play other games or you're busy in real life and you only have a few minutes a day for a couple of days. You don't have any time to sit down and play and you don't want to micromanage your land and your farms and your machines. So here's what we're going to cover. We're going to show you how to make lots of effortless gold. This is completely effortless. You don't need to go farm. You don't need to go do quests. You don't have to do a bunch of brain thinking. You can do this with only a few minutes per day. And you, you log in maybe once or twice every other day. It's going to make you tons and tons and tons of gold. Now, here's the requirements. You do need all of the soil unlocks. They're very cheap once you've played for at least a few days. So you want a 9 by 9 soil plot. You also want as many machine licenses as possible, and you want as many glow worm boxes as possible. You can use regular worm boxes. However, the glow worm boxes will give you way more gold, so that's what we want. Now, before we get to the soil configuration, I just want to talk about the glow worm boxes. This is the least time intensive way to make a simple profit. All you got to do is go to Zeki's shop and for 16 gold, you'll buy a mountain morel. That is these little mushrooms. You'll see in this box here, I have a mountain morel. It takes one hour to process one mushroom. It becomes one worm and three fertilizer. So if you look at the text on the screen, we spend 16 gold and then we earn 40 gold after one hour. The profit is 24 gold per hour per box. The maximum amount of boxes you can have is 30. So if you do the math, if you have 30 worm boxes, and I only have 21 because they're a little pricey to craft, you need flow wood planks, which uh, the best way to get them is you, you go to Ashura, you spend three metals per plank and you need 12 planks for a box. So the maximum potential that this gives you for zero effort and zero time investment is 720 gold per hour with 30 boxes. And in one day, you will earn 17,280 gold for free. You just go to the market and then you buy 31 mushrooms per box. The reason you buy 31 is the, the box can only hold 30 at a time. But whenever you put your 30 in, one of them becomes consumed, putting it at 29. So that's all you have to do. You just go to the store, you buy 31 mushrooms per box, throw them in, and then you don't have to worry about it for a good while actually 30 hours you can literally not touch the game for 30 hours and then come back to have plenty of free gold now an alternative to mountain moral you can craft sashimi now if you fish out uh glow worm fish from a pond they will be worth about 85 gold each when you craft a sashimi you get three of them and then those will turn into even more glowworms and even more fertilizer. However, the time it takes to both fish, one fish, and solo cook a sashimi is equal to one minute of real life time. Which means if you invest 10 minutes of time, you can fill one of these boxes with 30 sashimis. But the problem with sashimis is that you can't go away for 30 hours in real life. Because the sashimi will give you nine worms, or I'm sorry, it gives you three worms and like 15 fertilizers, your, your, uh, your crafting queue here will fill up and you won't be processing anymore. Also, why would you want to spend one minute per three sashimis when you can just go to the store and then buy the mushrooms all at once and be done? It's such a huge, huge time saver to not use sashimi. But while at the end of the day, sashimi is the most profitable thing to put in the glowworm boxes, it is, it's time-consuming, and I ain't got time for that. There's lots of other games to play. There's lots of other things to do. I'm behind romancing all the, the girls on this game. You know, look at, look at them. Like, it's still level one. Ew. It's barely even, not even halfway level one. I mean, come on, guys. I'm, I'm way behind. But, let's get to the soil configuration, because this is where the beauty really, really shines. On screen here is a grid a configuration let me try and make it a little bigger for you so you can see it a little easier so we're going to uh hopefully you're not colorblind but in the top left square here uh this is a darker red and this represents apples and apples take up a three by three grid so we have apples in the top left top right 
bottom right, bottom left, and center. Now, the lighter red color represents tomatoes. The brown color represents potatoes. The purple represents onions, and the orange represents carrots. What this configuration does is it will keep all of the plants watered, it will keep all of the plants weed-free, and everything that the apples touch, which are a mixture of tomatoes, potatoes, carrots, and onions, will have faster growth rate, but this is mostly so that you can step away from the game for like a whole day and then come back to a batch of apples without ever having to touch it. It's amazing, and apples are one of the best produce items in the game. However, if you were to actively play and water your garden and de-weed your gardens, tomatoes are better gold per hour, but this is the lazy AFK gold per hour video. So we want as many apple trees as possible, but we can only have five trees that will water themselves and keep weeds from growing. So if you don't know what a weed does in this game, when weeds grow, they, they, they bug out your fertilizer for one sometimes, I've noticed, but secondly, if a weed grows, it will prevent the crop from growing. So when 6 a.m. hits, if you didn't clear the weeds on the crop, it will not progress to the next step, which can be really detrimental if you're not logging into the game for a day or two at a time. That's why we're going to do this configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and put down the configuration and you can follow along with me or just go back to the video where I showed it in MS Paint. And I'm, uh, I'm actually using my MS Paint as a reference here. So we have tomato, or this is, this is the uh, apple tree. We're going to put one on the top left. There we go. One in the top right. And then one in the bottom right. Bottom left. And if you mess this up, oh man, that's 30 hours that you're stuck with it. So make sure that you have it perfectly lined up. There we go. And apple tree in the middle. Next up, we will do the tomatoes. I want to make sure that this is tomatoes and I don't mess this up. Very important because I don't want to get stuck with them. Okay, we're going to put a tomato here. And there. And then tomato in the corners. Pretty simple. Let's go. The top. We're going to put one in the top middle and then the bottom middle. And then again, we're going to copy the same pattern over here. Tomatoes in the corners. And then same pattern in this middle section. Tomato top mid, tomato bottom middle. All right, that's that's all for tomatoes. Now let's do the potatoes. Oil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Does anyone remember the old YTMND memes? Now that's in, that's that's showing my age. YTMND. Someone has to remember that. Potato top middle, potato bottom middle. Just a potato in the middle. Just a potato in the middle he down here. And then potato there, and a potato down there. Very cool. Next up is the onions. Oh man, I love onions, but some people hate them. Onions. We're putting it there and there. Onion in the middle. Onion in the middle. I don't know why my brain's like, hey, Malcolm in the middle. That's an old show. That's showing my age too. <laughs> Onion in the middle. And then the rest is carrots. Just fill in the carrots. There we go. Carrots go here. Carrots go there. Carrots go everywhere. All right, and what, like I said, what this does, this will keep everything watered once you water it the one time. It will prevent weeds from growing on anything in the entire garden. It's completely weed-free forever. You never have to come de-weed it. So make sure you have your weed achievement. Uh, but <laughs> YouTube, by the way, I'm talking about garden weeds. I'm not talking about the drug, so please don't demonetize. Thank you. Now, with that said, we have planted the configuration, and uh, you don't need to watch me water it. You can, I have other gardening videos for that. Now, you may be wondering, but Swole Benji, you forgot the fertilizer. What's going on, bro? And the answer is simple. You remember the worm boxes I talked about earlier? Well, guess what? Look what they make. They make Harvest Boost fertilizer. Now, what this does is it gives you one extra crop yield on the one squares, and it gives you nine extra on the tomato, on the, on the... Apples, I keep forgetting what the word apple is, and they're really quick to apply because you apply nine at a time. Look at this. Nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54. Look at that. Easy. You just, you just dump them in. You just dump them in, and uh, this is super easy to maintain. And you may be wondering, why don't you wait until the last growth cycle? Because I'm lazy. I'm a lazy gamer. That's, that's what this whole video is about. 
This is like the Homer Simpson of playing Paleo, okay? Is, is Simpson still relevant in 2023? I haven't, I haven't watched anything since like the 12th season, guys. I'm so far behind on media. I'm still trying to watch Game of Thrones. I'm so behind. I don't know what happens. But anyway, this, you know, just dump all the fertilizer from, from here. You're going to have plenty into here. All right, and then whenever these empty out in 30 hours, swap them out for seed milling machines. You can put your apples in here, make apple jams, apple jellies. I don't know what it's called. It's called. It's one or the other. You know, 50% chance to get it right there. But, you know, just throw your fertilizer in. Just, you know, just sit here and mash. And uh, I'm just going to put at least 30 because, you know, I'm not going to touch this for 30 hours, right? That's just how it is. And I'm going to skip this part so you're not sitting here bored. And here we are, everything is nice and fertilized. I've got almost 50 on all of the single plots here. Some of them have 80. And uh, if I did a little more even, I would have 50 on all of them. I think this one over here has 37, 42 on those. But everything is nice and fertilized. And it's 6 a.m. and look what happened. It just, so for those that don't know what 6 a.m. means, every 6 a.m. in game time, that is when your crops update. That is when the growth tick happens. And I, what I want you to see here is that I don't have to water any of these. When I pull out the watering can, they're already all watered. Also, there are zero weeds, which means this farm is completely fine. I can just leave, and when I come back, everything will be fully grown and ready to harvest. Now, for these regular plants, obviously you have to replant them, but it's only four soil plots. It's pretty simple stuff, and just... Just for you guys, I'll show you the configuration once again. And uh, just so you don't get turned around, let me give you a tip. The way I do gardening, because I messed this up once, I want you to look, look at my game. I'm facing directly north. Here's the pond. I'm facing directly north. By facing north, this is how I align myself with my 9x9 grid. And so, again, just just copy this, this, uh, this little grid here. It's, it's that simple. Hopefully you guys can, uh, can use this. And there might... Here's the thing, right? I'm, I'm not the best when it comes to 9x9 nine nine grids. I'm not like a, a college calculus math wizard. I'm just a gamer. I'm just a guy that plays games. So if you have a better configuration that lets you get either more apples or, or something, please let me know. Also, as far as fertilizer goes, I'm using the Harvest Boost because it will make all of these crops give me one additional. Because I'm using quality seeds, and you can see my gardening level is 27, that means I have a 100% chance for all the produce here to always give quality produce. So I don't need quality up uh, fertilizer. I don't need water retention fertilizer. I don't need weed away fertilizer. So why not use the easiest fertilizer that these worm boxes give, which I already pulled them all out and threw them in here, which is the Harvest Boost fertilizer. There's no reason to use any other fertilizer. Now you may be thinking, what about Speedy Grow? Well, I don't... This is an AFK farm. I'm not in a rush to get these all matured and ready to pick. You can if you want, but you're going to lose one produce per tile, and that really adds up. So I think just waiting the one extra hour for, you know, 81 extra produce items is absolutely worth it because that is a 33% gain in produce overall. But with that said, that's the laziest way to make money, and you, you may be also wondering... What should I turn the apples into? What should I turn, you know, all these produce items into? And ultimately, that's up to you. I have an entire video that tells you what to do with the tomatoes. My current recommendation for the, um, for the apples is to just turn them into food. Just pickle them. Uh, pickled, or apple jam, rather, is very satiating, especially when it's quality. And because you're going to get quality apples, they will turn into quality apple jam, which sells for quite a lot. I mean... One quality apple is worth 96. One quality apple jam, well, it's also worth 96, huh? Well, that's a bummer. Uh, so just selling the apples raw might be the best thing. You could also craft those celebration cakes with apple jam. I don't I don't know. That, that could be a better method for leveling your cooking. I still need to experiment to learn more about that. And as far as carrots and onions go, those aren't really profitable when you turn them into seeds. Maybe cook them into something or just sell them raw. I'm not entirely sure either. I'm still learning and still spreadsheeting and still documenting this game so make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss it when i do figure all this stuff out for you 
it's a lot easier to just hit the subscribe button now and then wait a few weeks until I figure all this out and then you'll you can just click a video and immediately absorb all of the hard work that I put into it. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like before you go. It really helps out. And you know, it's just it's like it's like two seconds. It's like you just you just move your wrist like a couple inches and then you left click. That's all I ask, man. I'm not asking for anything else. But well, I am going to ask for more. Of course I am. Please, please, please leave a comment if you want. I read every comment. It's the only social interaction I get. Believe me, I have no friends. And you may be thinking, oh, he's got like 91,000 subscribers. Wow, dude. That, that He'll never see my comment. That's bull. I read every comment. Every single one. It's all I do with my life. I just sit there and refresh the YouTube comments page over and over and over again. Uh, <laughs> finally, 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 finally. On the right side of your screen, there's a video that you should absolutely click. If you don't click the video, you're going to misplace your car keys or your shoes or or something. How about this? Your power will go out for like five minutes if you don't click that video. I know, I know, it's a curse. I'm sorry. So click the video and enjoy whatever it gives you.